Did you know that there are three types of human beings on the world? Three types of human beings. And I want you to see and ask yourself, what kind of a human am I? And this one is going to be a shocker to most of you because many people do not know this, that there are types of three types of humans. Now, the first type of human is called the natural man. The natural man is, um, is basically a person or a human who is just alive generally but uh, he lives by natural means but he is dead spiritually his spirit is dead but his body is alive okay and uh, when we talk about uh, him dead being dead spiritually it means that he is disconnected from the life of god that is what we call the unsaved man he's just walking talking but uh, he is dead spiritually he's just uh, an empty vessel walking and he doesn't even understand the things of God, let alone experience those things. Now, the Bible tells us about this natural man in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, but the natural man receives not the, thing of the, the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. You see, the natural man does not understand anything, does not understand spiritual things. That's why any time you're trying to talk to someone about uh, deeper things, they do not understand. When they look at the world, why is the world so evil like this? I think we need better governors, we need better presidents, we need uh, a new person to do this. But they do not understand the spiritual aspect of it because life is spiritual. So these natural men, they will try to make things become better using their own efforts. They do not understand that life is spiritual. Now the second kind of human being is called the spiritual man. All right, the spiritual man or the spiritual person. This is someone who is alive spiritually. All right, he has been born again through faith in Jesus Christ, and he has positioned uh, he has positioned himself in Christ, and he lives by the resources of his grace. This is the kind of person who we call a believer. Now, I want to show you the spirit man. The Bible says in the book of First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, that for what man knows the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of God knows no man but the spirit of God. You see, this man who is a spiritual man, he understands what's ailing the world. He understands where the problem is. He looks and he says, hmm, this is a problem with this politician. He is possessed with some demons. That's why he cannot do any developments. All he can do is steal, kill, and destroy because he's of the father, the devil. These are spiritual people who can design situations. They can design and say, hmm, from the way we are seeing, disaster is approaching. From the way we are seeing things, comparing the Bible and, uh, uh, and, and the general world, we can be able to say that something is wrong with this world and judgment is coming. So how do they discern all these things? Because they are spiritual beings. This is the second type of a man, of a human being. And the third type of a human being is what we call um, the carnal person. The carnal person. Now the carnal person is someone who is born again. That's true. But this person lives like the natural person. He lives like someone who is not saved. Or he's this kind of people, you'll be wondering, this guy is saved, but why does he behave like this? You see, the carnal person is a Christian or is a believer. And uh, he, also, he also has all the same spiritual resources in Christ as a spiritual Christian. But the carnal person chooses to live according to the flesh. All right? This is what we can say according to the limited ability of his own resources. Let me show you this. Uh, we can see this one in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 3 uh, from verse 1 to 4. The Bible says, And I, brethren, this is Paul speaking, could not speak to you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you are not able to bear it. Neither yet now are you able, for you are yet carnal. For whereas there is among you envying 
and strife and divisions? Are you not carnal and walk as men? For while, while one says, I'm of Paul, and another, I'm of Apollos, are you not carnal? These are people who you find, they love arguing on denominations, on different topics, on things, arguments which are really baseless. Not arguing in the aspect of trying to improve or to enlighten others to wake up to the truth, but they just want to argue. You tell them, hey, bro, you know you cannot lose salvation? No, I can lose salvation. Because they have not read to understand. They're just carnal Christians. For example, let me tell you, this is how a carnal Christian lives like. Let me give you an example. There was this man who went to a cruise ship. He took his family for vacation for one week. And they had a really good moment in the cruise ship. And then... Uh, uh, just before the day they alighted, he happened to speak to his fellow passenger and asked him, Hey, how, how was it? Did you enjoy the, the, the trip? How was it? Then the fellow passenger said, Wow, the trip was really good. I enjoyed everything. But the only part which I feel was a little bit off is I wish I could afford the food, the sumptuous meal that those guys were eating there. You know, my, my, my family only survived on, survived on some peanuts and uh, sandwiches because we could not afford that kind of food. It was, it was really good, but we could not afford it. And then this man told him, but bro, it was all inclusive. Why didn't you go and just pick a plate? And then he said, you mean it was all inclusive? And uh, this one... It's just a picture of the carnal Christian. He doesn't know that salvation is all-inclusive. Your salvation has been paid for everything all through your journey. You can receive the, all the gifts that God has given. You can receive salvation entirely. There is nothing that you need to do in this world to be saved anymore. You're already saved. You're a child of God. In it, as a matter of fact, you're already seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus right now. <laughs> but then there are people who are still struggling, trying to find their way and say, oh, I, I, I want to come and get more spirit so that I can live more with God. But my friend, you're already with God. God already lives in you. You see, these kind of Christians, they live like someone who has just gotten a baby and has been, he's been released from the hospital, this woman. But then she has been told... Uh, this child has been born into this world, but uh, you have to bring out or him occasionally so that they can get new body parts. That is how these people behave. It's as if this child was born, given life, but now they need to get body parts. That is how a carnal Christian behaves. They do not understand their fullness. Are you a carnal Christian? Are you a spiritual person? Or are you a natural man? Those are the three kinds of human beings that we have in the world.